ladies, it's Lisa Bowman, your favorite 31 consultant coming to you to talk to you about something very specific. Um, this video is for my hostesses, specifically my hostesses that had their party order shipped directly to them. Now these would probably be my ladies that are out of town, like farther away from me than it then makes it easy for me to get the orders to her because generally when I have a hostess, I will have her order shipped to me so that I can take care of everything, get it all put together in the bags and taken care of just the way I like it. We call it the pink glove service. And I put some extra goodies and stuff like that in there to, um, just for something nice for the customers. But oftentimes I have parties where the girls, the hostesses are not close to me and so they have to be shipped directly to the hostess and when that happens um then the hostess gets her box or gets the box the big party box shipped to her and then i worry that sometimes she doesn't know exactly what she should do with the with the orders and stuff so i thought i would just make a step-by-step -step video tutorial showing you what to do when you get your box. Um, now, first of all, I am hoping that I did everything properly and that I have already sent you a mailer that has this. I called this one the Your Hostess Earned <laughs> just because I will put their name up here and then I'll fill in these boxes with what you, the hostess, have earned just to let her see what her order did to help you and to hopefully get somebody to say, oh my goodness, you got $100 in free items? I want $100 in free items. Maybe I'll book a party. So that's the first thing that you'll be getting. And so you'll need to make sure that there is one of these for every person that ordered on your party. The second thing that I have will be this. Now, it might not look exactly like this, and it probably won't, but this is just a sheet of coupons that I like to include in my orders um, just to give more incentive to place another order. There's also, on the back of it, is our return policy. Our return policy is very important. It's very simple. You've got 90 days to um, return anything that's defective or anything like that but you cannot return anything that has, um, that has personalization on it. You can if there is a problem with the item, but you can't replace it with something else. It has to be replaced with the exact same thing. So these are the two cards that you should be getting in the mail. I should have one of each for each one of your customers. And so you'll want to get these and just set them aside. We'll use those in a little bit. So here's our box. Sometimes our party comes in one box that's only about this tall. Sometimes it comes in four boxes this big, depending on the size of your order, your party. Um, because also, lots of times when you, the hostess, are out of town, your customers... Um, will have their orders shipped directly to them. And those are orders you don't even need to worry about. Um, now I got this started without having my letter opener here. And I will use a pencil. Yeah, this'll do. Um, so this is possibly the most exciting part of getting your order in. Um, it's getting to open the box and see all the stuff that all your friends have ordered. Now, inside this box, you will find, here, I'll start taking it out so you can see. Right here on the side is bags. The bags come in the hostess box. They are, um, well, in the party box. They are always included. If they're ever not included, let me know. I can call home office. They'll send us some. So we're going to take these. I just lay them out flat on the table. Um, now, generally, what I would do, what I should do, 
is put the put the this card tape it to the top of each one of these bags but I am too darn interested to see what's in this box for me to take the time to to, to tape those on yet so I will get to that in a little bit um, also down in here here are the packing slips and the order forms that everybody had. So um, the packing slip, if you want to go through and make sure everything is there. Um, I usually, the way I usually do that, so they do it three different ways. They do one packing slip. That's what this is. Then they do one that has all the orders on it for each of the ladies, but they're all on, on one or two sheets or whatever. Then they put a separate um, receipt invoice for each one of the orders that you placed or that, that your friends placed. And then they get stuck on the box. <laughs> so these are the ones that I find most useful. The ones that have each customer's name, like um, this customer is Jill. So Jill got an organizing shoulder bag. I know that that's all I need to put in her bag. But, um, but the fun part is I get to go through this box and find the organizing shoulder bag. In here we've got, this is something my mom ordered. <laughs> this is, you might look at this and you have no idea what this is. Or you might know what it's called, but you don't know the pattern or anything like that. They've made it very simple for us. They put the name of the bag, the Retro Metro Hobo Crossbody and the pattern woven stripe right up here. They, they have one of these pink stickers on every single item that is shipped in the box. And it's just that simple to figure out what everybody ordered. So this is not the cross body. Is that what Anita had ordered? No, Jill. That's not the organizing shoulder bag. But look, let me show you something else. Look at that! I love it! This is the Midway Hobo in our new Calypso Coral Pebble. Now, I should know the names of every single one of these items, but I don't. Well, I do, but my brain can't come up with them fast enough. So, I can just look right here and see this is the Midway Hobo in the Calypso Coral. So, this again is not what we're looking for for Jill. But we'll just keep going through. Ah, oh, this is the organizing shoulder bag. Um, I want, I want to show you this, but I want to cover up her name. So, please excuse my fingernails; they look really bad. So her name is right here under my finger. Um, but otherwise, you would look and see the um, organizing shoulder bag and twill stripe. This, this is the organizing shoulder bag right here in twill stripe. So this, I'll turn this around a little bit now. Since I'm working over here. This is Jill's order. So what I'm gonna do is go back over here for a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Jill's order form and I found that so I'm just going to put a little check mark next to it and then I'm going to write thank you on there because I really appreciate her business and I want to let her know so thank you. Thank you so much for your order. So, I just 
just wrote a simple little thank you. Um, and I just, I mean, it's not brain surgery. But so what I do, let me push this down a little bit so I can, so you can see better. Okay, so I will take Jill's, this will say Jill at the top. I hope I don't keep confusing her name and confusing you guys. Yes, Jill. So that would, that would say Jill at the top. And it, like I said, all the pieces would be filled out, all the holes. But um, I just use washi tape for this. You honestly, you can use um, whatever tape you have. I just, I always love washi tape. I think it's so neat and so pretty. So I put it up here on the top next to the handle. You can put it however you want. It really doesn't matter. This is just what I've come up with. I just, my suggestion is to make it easier for you to hand out to your customers, tape it on the outside of the bag somewhere so that they can see it so that you can see it. Because when you're handing out your orders, you want to be able to do it decently, not go through all of them and everything. So that's right there. So now I have Jill's bag marker at the top. And then all I do is put her items, however many she may have ordered, in her bag. Then I put her um, packing slip. I don't like looking at myself like that. There. Then I put the packing slip and the coupons down in here. And Jill's order is ready to go. Now you just do that with all the rest of them too. But you'll find at the end, once you get all of your orders taken out of here, what everybody else has ordered, there's going to be a lot of stuff left in the bottom of that box. That's probably your stuff. Yeah. That's the exciting part is that that stuff is probably yours. And you will find that I showed you this page that has like all of the orders put together, you will not have a packing slip or an invoice or whatever you want to call it for your order, for your hostess, um, for your hostess credit and your half price items and all that. You won't have that. What you will have though is this one that has all of the orders squished together and you will see, and I want to cover this up, because I don't want this hostess's name out there. But see, all of all of this hostess's stuff is right here showing what she got. And then you can just go down this order and see, oh, okay, the mystery hostess bundle, which is this one. And there's a large utility tote in there. Oh, and an umbrella. Oh, Lisa's jealous. I wanted one of these umbrellas. Oh, man. So she got... Let me take a moment. This is the um, mystery bundles that we have for the Hostess exclusives. And um, with these, you pay $25, and you have no idea what you're going to get. Um, I can sometimes give ladies an idea of what's in a mystery a uh, hostess mystery bundle, but I can't tell you for sure what's going to be in there until it comes. That's the only way. So this one, she paid $25 for. I know right now because there's hard stuff right here. I know that this is a large utility tote. So that's $35 right there. She paid $25. She got a $35 item, but because of this thing right here, I also know but she got an umbrella. These were an item that we carried last summer and I have no idea how much they were. I can't remember. I'm going to say they were at least 35. So if that's the case, if it was 35, she's got $70 worth of items here and she only paid $25 for it. I think she got a really good deal. I'm feeling a little jealous right now. I tell you what, I really am because I'm wondering what else is in here. 
I won't open this because this is for the hostess to open. This is the fun stuff for the hostess to open. So that's hers. Um, something else in here that I know 100% is hers. I can't get to it. Oh, somebody ordered a home decor box. This one I will open to make sure that the personalization looks good. Actually, I think it was our hostess that ordered this too. Isn't that beautiful? And she had a starfish put here. I just love that. I love the wood on these. They're so wonderful. Wow. And there's so many uses for these. I've seen so many people take these and um, put mason jars of flowers in them, put snacks in them for a party. Just so many wonderful ideas. And this one is really beautiful. There's a piece of styrofoam down in there that I should make sure. Well, I can deal with this in a minute. Um, then one more thing in here that I know is for the hostess is, oh, well, I'm going to fall, is her wheels up roller. Um, this is not personalized, so I'm not going to take it out of the bag because it's also kind of difficult to put back in the bag, but this hostess had a $500 party, I believe, and she got this. She got the exclusive. She got all kinds of stuff. So, um, enjoy opening your box and getting all of your fun stuff and, um, Take pictures while you're at it. I will oftentimes take pictures of the items as I'm opening them, especially, especially the ones that have been personalized. There's one down in here that I just went past. Look at this. It's so cute. So what I'm going to do before I give this order to the, to the hostess, I'm going to take anything that was personalized and I'm going to take a picture of it and I post these on a page on Facebook that I go to quite often when I have customers saying what would this look like with this or that personalization on it or this or that color and I can go on there and I can find what the um, gray brush stroke looks like with um, with the what are the colors on this Aqua, this is aqua, powder pink, or yeah, she chose aqua and powder pink. So I can go on there and see what other things look like with this. And, um, but then I can also share my images with others. So take some pictures as you're opening this stuff up and just enjoy going through all this and making up your wish list for your next party. It also puts some information in there on different things. This one has 31 gives on the one side and about being a consultant on the other side. So since you've had a party, since you know how much you love this stuff, consider being a consultant because I get everything that I purchase. I, I can get everything for 40% off. I mean, just all the products that I want to purchase for myself, I can get for 40% off. Plus I make 25% on every item that I sell and every bit of personalization that I sell. So it really helps. Every little bit helps a lot. I use the money that I've made so far this year to get some dental work done for my two middles the other day. So, um, you know, that that's something else that we don't have to worry about right now. So, um, as I keep saying, enjoy going through your box and seeing what's in there oops and having fun and don't forget to share your pictures with me and show me what your friends have decided they wanted to have so all right ladies i hope you found this video helpful and i hope you will
let me know if you have any questions. And um, I hope that you will host another party with me soon. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.